In this tutorial, I want to teach you how to use conditional statement uh, on a wide range. So there are times where the conditional statement doesn't necessarily be a date or a number, but rather text. So in such a case for an inexperienced uh, database uh, developer or Microsoft Access, you might actually have problem getting that done. So that is the reason why I'm showing this because I also fixed it and I had to use my previous experience to actually work on it. So this is the question here. The question here says, it says, highlight field if any of the options selected contain the word OBS. So this is the field, which is the service field. So I, I'm actually making this software here, this uh, database to get this done. Uh, look at this. So as you can see, this is, if I select this, you see the color is no longer there. So on a condition where we have OBS, so I actually tried out so many options on how to get it done and did not work compared to what we have here. Like when you have one, five or greater than six in a number field, you can actually get uh, that easily done. And the same thing with dates and orders. So in such a case, what we need to do is uh, we need to use our kind of SQL uh, language. Or uh, let me say partly VBA language. So let's go straight and get that done. So what I had to do was to go to the format tab uh, of your menu, the format menu. Then while having this the the field, which is the service field, drop down box selected, I click on the conditional statement. So this is just what I did. So let me get that done for you again. So I will just delete this out. Uh, delete this rule okay so I have it deleted so I create a new rule now you see that before what we have there is when you have the field value being between or greater than or not greater than and all that so you can see that this is just literally numbers you have to work on or maybe dates so also the same thing goes for uh, when it has focus and all that so all that like when you have another option rule type well, in this particular case, I'm going to use expression. So to do this, I'm going to use expression. So I will click on the build button. I will use a string. So the a string, which is in s3 arrow, a string actually helps you to to get values uh, of the kind of numbers are returned to tell exactly where the string is if it is true uh, or if it is false it actually returns numbers but we are not returning number it's just to know whether it is true or false so in this case you can see it uh, kind of brings in a long uh, data type specifying the position of the actual so all I just need to know is to know if it's actually there so what I just need to do is I just say in string uh if you check it let's follow the syntax starting from one so where do you want to start looking for such string that you want to look for so i need to start from the first letter so comma the string where do the string where is it available which string am i going to look at what what uh, field so the string is actually present in the service uh in this this year the service field so service okay so as you can see i have that then what am i actually looking for the string to match so i'm looking for obs okay so i have to I have to put that one in in, in that uh, uh, as as uh, a string so just cover that out now normally is going to return a number so all i just want to know is if it's available do you understand so if i try this out uh in a text you are going to have something show up so i will try that out so you see that but for now this is how you get such thing done when looking for 
uh, a kind of a wide range of uh, white cats. You kind of, you know, initially it's supposed to be white cats. So when you are doing SQL, so I tried that out, trying to do white uh, card uh, uh, search for a particular criteria. So normally I'm supposed to use the word like. So if I use like here, let me copy this out so you see. It's going to give me, I'm supposed to put like. I'll just use uh, star, let's see, OBS. And... Uh, Okay, start the front to show that anywhere you have have uh, this, you can easily find it out. So, but it won't just work. It won't work. It won't just work. I think I, I didn't. Okay. Like. So, if you put this or try to manipulate it anyway, it doesn't just work at all. So, now this is white cat. You see it shows so you no know, matter how i try to do it it doesn't work it won't just work so the only thing that works for it the only option is to use this it got me a lot of time there was time i actually had a dick just to get it done but i was able to get it done using this particular in string in string uh, uh syntax so i got this out then uh let me put a condition that's going to be Okay, yellow. Okay, so that is how it works. So by the time it returns at all, a number, provided a number is returned or whatsoever, is going to work. So if I select <coughs> any of this value, you see, that's done. So it just works for you. So let's go to the query let's go to the vba area so we can see how it works so if i come to the immediate uh, section of the vba so let me put in that what there uh, let me see service and i hit on uh, okay oh 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 sorry for that it's supposed to be we want to look for obs inside this place sorry for that so obs so this is what we are actually looking for so if i hit on enter you see it's actually at position nine so if let's assume there is not here let's say e e the you see is zero so anytime the value is returned if this is this is going to give me provided there is obs there it's going to give me so i can actually put uh if this 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 it will still work for me but in that case if i say if uh what we have here is greater than zero then just give me that <laughs> you understand me now so if it's equal to true then give me that when you are working with vba but in this case what is going to work for you is just the syntax i gave to you initially how <laughs> which is this so i wanted to try that out uh it looks somehow silly one kind but i just it just worked for me so try that out I tried to actually work on that online it didn't just work i tried to look for so many options on how to get it done it did not work for me i couldn't get the answer so when i got it done myself i decided to teach about it so that someone else can have a solution to such problem thank you so much for listening and uh, watching please subscribe to my channel.